all right what's going on everybody welcome to minecraft stone block 100 days now i'm not gonna really do an intro for this we're just gonna go ahead and just get straight into it. as you can see here i got my quest book for stone block everything to do with the start i didn't know what to do how to get stone pebbles but it's minecraft so i was like hey let me think for a second break it with your hand just like you can everything else in this game so that's the first thing i did i went ahead and started getting stone pebbles so that i can make a yeah cobblestone here start working up to get a crafting table so that's what we did we went ahead and started working on getting more pebbles here you know what i'm saying that we needed and i'm not going to start with the, you know what i'm saying again like in the pixamon one but i did get the quest done and i got the first loot chest here which gave me stone and some wood which was awesome then i went ahead over here put the pebbles off camera to make cobblestone to go ahead and finally make a crafting table which was really nice because now i can actually start making stuff that i needed which it gave me the quest complete as well so went ahead got the loot chest opened it and got punji sticks which would come in handy later so then i'm gonna skip around a little bit here because it'd take too long to break down everything i'm doing with tools but basically as you can see here i got a crook and this hammer to where i gotta break dirt with it to get enough saplings with um because it was a quest and so i had to get four of each sapling yeah four and it took so long to get the last one there the dark oak I think you'll see here at the time up top yeah we hit zero for the time until it, it took so long for me to get it on stream but we got a loot chest out of it so i opened the loot chest and then it gave me a chance cube and it, it, it's funny because the world i did before this one i was playing it and i i was so far into it for what i knew at least so far into it open a chance cube and i died i i lost everything because of it but this one luckily we got we got lucky and all we got was marlin but marlin's my boy you know what i'm saying so we're good i then began to twerk on this tree to grow it because for some reason that works here and whenever i did it, it reminded me of that uh when sunday and craner would play i forget what it's called but basically twerk on trees and grow so that's all i did i just kept mining trees and trees to get wood to really get stuff starting to go here especially for this quest here got the quest done open the loot box yellow right or letting you know now I have no clue what this did all the way to the end. I then went on to make all these stencil tools that were part of the quest. Yeah, here as you can see. So I just went through and made the crafting station, I guess, tool station, whatever you want to call it. The patterns, the pattern chest, etc. This is one of the things I didn't like, though. Mostly, like, probably because it took forever to learn for me. Because, like, this is my first time playing mods. So, you know, that's also why it's not on hardcore either is because it is my first time. So I apologize in advance for that. But, you know, I went ahead, got all the chest parts done here for Tinkers, claimed the loot chest and everything, opened it, got more yellow right ore. So that was cool. I then went and opened a chance cube and it didn't go well, as you can tell. But anyways, I went over here to the tree where I started getting, yeah, the string out of it because I put the worms i forget what they're called already into them yeah the silkworms into them so i can get those but i then cut again to go and open another chance cube i love chance cubes so i do open a lot of them but and as you can see it gave me a room full of carpet which this actually helped me because it cleared out the entire room which i was going to use later for a storage room as you'll see coming up i was doing a bunch of quest efforts to get stuff done here so i made a sieve claimed another loot chest and got yellow right or which of course I did when I ever use it. Made the mesh and started to sift sand so that I can get iron and everything like that. Because, you know, you, you need it to advance. As you can see here, I have so many chance cubes I got. I think it was from a loot chest. Yeah, it was from a loot chest. So I decided, hey, let me make an area so that I can actually open these in. So it's not destroying my base. So that's, when I, that's what I went and did was I placed chance cubes in an area. So, you know, somewhat it wouldn't destroy my base and what did i get from this oh yeah i backed up because i was so scared that mobs would spawn or something because i got killed by invisible ones before and i got off lucky this time it was it was dull absolutely nothing went ahead opened another one another nothing so i was getting lucky because before this like i said before i started a world and i died immediately horrible horrible but yeah you're gonna see me here just keep rolling out these uh chance cubes just to get them out the way because eh, I just didn't want to have them anymore, but I did. But as you can see here, it spawned in. I was freaking out. 
It spawned into little baby zombie. I just placed a bunch of those uh, punji sticks. Yeah, that really did help me because I probably would have died there if I didn't have those. But yeah, I crafted iron that I got from just sifting down sand over and over, getting the iron from it and everything to make it, which did help us advance. Yeah, because we needed a bucket to make water, which as you see here, we put saplings into this crucible to make water. So we finally got that done, which is amazing. So I started digging out a little 4x4 four four here so that I can get more water to make infinite water source. So I don't have to worry about doing that over and over again with the saplings. But it gave me a quest over here that I did get. What did I get from the chest? Epic bacon. Cool. Gave me food because I was starting to run out. And here I started also working on building out a mob farm as one of the quests. And of course it spawns skeletons. But as you can see here, look at this. They started fighting each other, bro. Like, like it's Black Ops 2 again on some Nuketown stuff. 1v1 sniper only. I had my money on the guy in the back. And let's see what plows. Let's just see what happens. What plays out. You can see here. Oh, they're both about to be one shot. Oh, he misses. Oh, he misses. It bounces off him. What happens next? Look at him. Ah, oh, the one in the back one. And then he started shooting me. Like, bro, I put my best on you, dog. Like, why are you shooting me? But, you know. I killed him and then I got a loot bag out of it, which is my first time encountering this. So I didn't know what it was. Got the achievement. When did I open it? Yeah, there we go. I opened it. Gave me chicken and seeds. Cool. As you can see as well here, I placed punji sticks because mobs were starting to uh, spawn back there and everything like that. So I was kind of caving out the system so that I can make them fall down everything like that. Like your standard mob farm. But as you can see as well, I got a epic and legendary loot bag. So I'm trying to build up, trying to stay safe right now, do what I can to try and advance. So I went ahead and opened this legendary loot bag as well. My first one, no, I opened the epic first, I think. What I get? Acceleration while this, I, I know what it does now, but this entire time that I played, I never did. And I don't think I ever did use it. So I apologize for that. I kind of just have a bunch of items that I never used because... I didn't really understand how to because it's like I said, it's my first time playing. But yeah, then we went ahead and opened up a legendary loot bag here and I got diamond armor out of it, which was amazing because I needed it mainly because, you know, I'm working on the mob farm. I don't want to sit there and get like three shotted, two shotted and whatnot. So yeah, that was pretty cool. I uh, opened a chance cube and I got a bunch of these. And does it look weird to you? I didn't read that to the last second. And then a bunch of creepers small. <laughs> and you could tell how jittery I became because I was so scared, man. <laughs> I like screamed when that happened because I was so scared. But yeah, I just went ahead, moved on, made torches, everything that I needed to. Just, just start punching here real quickly. Made a crucible so I can start, uh, yeah, to get lava everything like that made me a chest so i can just start just boom 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 getting these quests done really quickly and it was only day five at this time and i think i'm making good progress if you ask me boom do that get another loot chest glowstone and get these are actually cool i did make tools with these yeah here made a glowstone pickaxe i think i made a sword i'm not 100 percent sure yes i did okay i did make a sword these this this was cool i did like them adding that but as you can see here, placed it, cobblestone in it, torch, so that I can finally start making lava. It would allow me to get obsidian and all that. Got another legendary loot bag from killing mobs that keep spawning over there. And it gave me the same stuff. So it wasn't that cool, but I mean, hey, I still got stuff out of it. Went over to here as well, and I opened a chance cube, and it just gave me a bunch of bunnies. And look, okay, don't call PETA or anything like that on me. I, I really had to kill these because they were getting on my nerves with how loud they were. But, you know, eh, maybe also I can get some rabbit's foots. You know what I'm saying? Lucky and whatnot. You know, don't sue me. But anyways, we'll move on. I opened up this uh, thing here. Got a chest piece. Made a glowstone axe so I can start cutting down these trees faster. Because I really needed wood. More resources to really start getting everything going. Especially for, like, power and progression stuff. So I made another sieve to start really processing making that quicker in the process as well i'm stumbling over my words so much here but yeah and then these things freaking spawned into my farm i was making like evolved endermen i didn't know what they were so yeah i, I mean luckily they got behind the the fence there so i was lucky got a bunch of yeah because i was working on a farm back there and stuff oh boy oh boy and i know what happens here i got this dynamite from a loot bag and uh <laughs> i'm so glad i wasn't in hardcore because uh 
That would have been a very dumb way to die. But as you can see, I spawned in the skeleton. I did die. I just cut it out because, you know, no no point in having it in. But yeah, we, we, we killed the skeletons, okay? They were the cousins of the snipers that were fighting earlier. But I worked on the mob farm here, as you can see. It, it did take a very long time. As you can also tell by the days, it did take some time in the top left and everything like that. But eventually, I did get it done. I started placing all the water so that they would flow down. This is like your most basic mob farm that you can think of. Like, this is the only way that I know how to do it. Just from playing Minecraft from so long ago. But I forgot to place blocks. So, you know, they kept falling down here. And uh, I almost died multiple times because of it. So, I realized my mistake. Fixed it. Started placing the blocks around here. And then worked on them, you know, to fall down into the hopper and... Make sure the items actually get into the chest so that I have stuff. Because I didn't want to lose it all. I mean, obviously, because I think there was a quest for it. Plus, the, uh, yeah, the loot bags is the one thing I was looking for mainly. So I can get a bunch of items. Everything like that that I do need. Which, as you can see here, though, they didn't die. So I had to, you know, build it down a little bit like that. Just so I can get this quest done for it to kill them. Which I did. And then I got an Invar Hammer, which was sick. I then did something kind of stupid i had my chance spend it out okay but i wanted to open one of these special chance cubes i don't know how to pronounce that i'm not gonna try yes i will i think it's like an iso height never mind i'm not never mind but it spawned these uh yeah the guardians and it made that little um thing that you can see basically like a little waterfall it looks so cool to me so i kept it in my base you know killed the guardians finally had lava here and we are just doing quick cuts because there's a lot that happened i gotta get through it but i made obsidian but can you tell something wrong? What's something I don't have to mine it with? Yeah, I completely did that thinking that I can mine it without a diamond pickaxe. I don't know what's going through my brain. But yeah, that happened. As you see there, mine the gravel and everything like that. Started working towards clay. Get bricks so I can start making these bonsai pots. Pots? Yeah, they are pots. What am I talking about? So that I can make them so the saplings can go inside of them. And it just funnels down wood and saplings everything like that into a chest so i don't have to manually keep chopping them down and thank you to the dude that actually taught me this because like i said i knew nothing about mods going into this my first time doing it and i had a guy that helped me in my twitch chat he was awesome and if you guys do want to go and follow my twitch and everything like that it'll be in the description and it'll be in my comment so yeah look at that i got it working here pretty cool so as you can see here i was starting to put stuff away. the storage was getting bad but, you know, I threw that in just to show y'all how bad it was getting. And I decided to use this area over here that made the water for chance cubes. And this one was awesome. It gave me magic feet. I had no clue what it did at first. So I was just walking around like an idiot, not knowing. But it was giving me diamonds and everything. So I was like, yo, I got to keep running. Hopefully I can get that again so I can get more diamonds. So I can finally mine that obsidian in the corner. Because that's been sitting there for I don't even know how many days at this point. But made an iron pickaxe so that I can get these diamonds and we finally had one diamond i think there's another one over there that we mined yeah there was but obviously knowing me i'm just skipping around now so we started working on a farm here i completely forgot what oh yeah so that i can get animals because yeah as you can see right there i was able to make chicken bait which is how you get animals in this um as you can see i already have cows because i made cow bait so i wanted chickens now so that's what i went and did and so yeah that was cool over here, I started working on my smeltery system, I think. So, yeah, you basically need the seared bricks and all this stuff for it. Like I said, I am just skipping around a bunch because it was a whole bunch of things to do. And I'm sure you guys know that, you know, I didn't cheat. I live streamed this entire thing. You know, I didn't like sit here and purposely, you know, cheat around here when you can see the days too. But started working on this. As you can see, I got the lava in there. Started smelting, what was it, cobblestone? Yeah, I wanted to test to see if it was work. And thank you, thank you to the person that helped me build this too. I believe it was the same guy because, oh my God, I was so, I, I didn't know what to do. I was dumbfounded by it. But yeah, as you can see here as well, this is where the carpet room was. I started building a storage system in there and everything. And I finally had this working. Now the sear, sear, yeah, the seared bricks, I'm dumb. Yes, I finally got it working. So I was happy, it was awesome. And now we're back to the chance cubes and look how many skeletons it spawned. It, <laughs> I was so scared during this too. I didn't know what to do. I was trying to build to keep them trapped 
and obviously that didn't work so i was just freaking out trying to find something to build with to keep them in there but at that point it was too late they were already coming towards me ready to fight me and junk so i had to sit here and just one one by one until you know they did sort of get trapped into the water which helped me and so i went through and i killed the last of them got a bunch of loot bags out of it which is cool started saving some more gravel and everything and a lot of this is just the this mod pack was very repetitive but i got a diamond out of it which yeah finished me able to get the diamond pickaxe and i kept this in here like that too because i called it in my live stream i was like watch i'm gonna get a diamond and i did so you know i did and here you can see me working on trying to make this automatically powered and everything like that which <laughs> this was so bad bro because i'm i'm so bad with this it, it took forever for me to figure this out and everything but i did finally get it figured out here as you can see i put a hopper cobblestone generator on top so it constantly fuels that making lava and the lava gets pumped in so i was happy about that i then started to smelt down some gold here so that i can make these cast and whatnot and oh my god guys as i was recording this right now and you know editing and everything my pc just completely shut off on its own so i have to redo like most of this now i got so scared so i'm just telling y'all because it scared me because my pc broke once and i hope that it did not do it again in the middle of this but yeah we'll, we'll move on but as you can see here i started making uh the tools and everything like that because i was working on making yeah a pickaxe i wanted a pickaxe for this and so that's what i began to do here made the cobblestone tool rods and everything like that that i needed also started working on making the uh, head of the pickaxe i tried to make it iron and everything like that i didn't really know what i was doing and whatnot so you know it, i don't know why it didn't work i'm gonna say that you know what? i'm not gonna blame myself i'm blaming the mod for not working so yeah but i accidentally made like so many <laughs> pickaxe heads by accident and it, i don't know how i do the stuff i do i just do it but i finally did make the stone pickaxe which was cool and as you can see here i the diamond worked right so i mean i didn't want to use my only diamond on it so i was like hey if a diamond works there's the mining level of diamond can i put iron onto it and it didn't work and i don't know why it didn't i still don't know why so if you can tell me tell me but you know my thought process say hey, if diamond's gonna work iron has to work but it didn't but you know i got iron and fixed the pickaxe and everything like that so we finally had a pickaxe cool I then started working on expanding my uh, my thingy here. I already forget what it's called. The the furnace, big furnace. I'm gonna call it big furnace, right? Made it two by two so I can start smelting stuff faster, especially iron so that I can make a bunch more tools and advancements. And of course my blood was in it because my dumb self stepped into like lava or something like that and made blood. But went over here, started smelting copper because I needed something to start making power i think it was copper blocks that i needed so that i can start making you know like pipes and everything like that for power yeah and so i finally got them here and started putting them into ingots like a dummy you see to make the copper blocks they were supposed to actually go into that um i guess the cast thing or whatever where it comes out of not the actual ingots so i just kept doing this over and over making ingots here and as you can see i made copper blocks but they were not the right ones i was supposed to use it with the other thing <sighs> just uh i'm not gonna blame myself i'm blaming the mod once again i'm blaming the mod for doing that started saving stuff to get more you know stuff out of it than i needed i don't even remember what i was doing half the time but as you can see i got like diamond emerald and lapis out of it but i finally got the copper going into where i needed to so i can actually start making stuff so that was cool so as you can see here i started making yeah that's what i need to make a tool forge i believe it's called yeah so that i can actually start making yeah more advanced stuff here this is how i got i forget i forgot how i got a certain tool oh yeah here we go a hammer so i made a hammer and i think it was the advanced one i'm not sure but i did use diamonds on it and then i started to beat down this wood here to make yeah the dust because i needed it for paper i believe what i was doing we're about to see here yeah okay paper i needed paper because i was making bookshelves for okay well paper stuff as well i forget why but i need i do need it for bookshelves so for uh enchantment table when i did get that so i was preparing for that too 
And as you can see here, there it is. There's the right hammer. The last one I made was wrong. So that, I'm leaving the mod again. <laughs> I'm gonna quit doing it. But put a diamond onto it. This was as well, thank you to the person that let me know that I can do this and mod it with like redstone, lapis, and everything like that to make it more advanced to have like, what was it, like a lock and like mine quicker and everything like that and just durability, which it's a cool mod. I don't know why I didn't like it that much. I, I don't know. I'm just weird like that. But yeah, we went there and upgraded the hammer and then went over here and started to advance the mob farm as well with these yeah these these end things that basically just suck the items into them so cool i did make iron chest as well instead so i went back and placed them with the suckers i guess they're called to pull items in because i did need more space because the amount of just space i didn't have anymore in those chests was just <laughs> they filled up so quick because those loot bags take up so much space but I went ahead and started making extra right there. So it was cool. It was cool. And as usual, I went and opened the chance cube and one man army. Boy, was I lied to. I thought it was one zombie pigment. So I hit it and then I started getting attacked out of nowhere. As you can see, I didn't know what was going on, but then I, you know, I realized they were invisible and I was so scared. I just kept backing up and swinging and swinging, hoping not to die. But there were so many of them and it, it got so bad. And as you're going to see here, I tried to play something <laughs> to block them and it didn't work. I placed an end portal thing there, which, oh my God, it, and the worst part about it too, is I, I didn't even realize, yeah, I did die. Luckily we're not on hardcore again. I think that's my third death. But the one thing I didn't realize whenever I placed that inner portal frame was that you can't break it in survival with anything. I wasn't thinking that at this time, but you know, I, I died again. So what is that? Four times went to, yeah, I opened up a loot bag first so I can try to get something to protect myself. And you know, it didn't work. Broke my grave to get all my items that started attacking me again. I didn't die again. Okay. I didn't die again. But I just kept attacking, attacking, hopefully that I wouldn't die. You know, I got revenge. I got rid of them all. And yeah, as you can see here, I tried removing it and it didn't work. So yeah, I did go ahead and switch to creative only to remove this because I didn't want to be, I didn't want it being here. So this was the only thing that I did the only ju just to remove it. Okay. So I, I kept this in here just to show y'all, you know, I was live streaming this whole thing. So I don't know if the VODs are still there, but I do have videos. So there, and then it did take forever, but I finally got a diamond mesh here so that I can actually get more drops and everything like that out of the sifting process. Got another quest done, which I haven't really showed me completing a lot of quests because just the amount of them that are in this mod pack was just a lot. As you can tell, I, I had a lot to do, but open this, it got more bacon, which is cool. And this right here, I made an auto sieve. So we were starting the power stuff in this mod pack. And obviously I didn't know how to use it. So I had to learn how to, but it was still cool. You know, I finally had something of power. And so over here, I started working back on my, my furnace, the big furnace. So that stuff would automatically flow. So I don't have to keep getting it out with like iron. Cause it's to me out of iron that I had. Why am I saying iron like that iron? It's my bad. But right here, I got a magmatic generator, you know, for the lava to start powering stuff. So we officially had power, which was, which was incredible, uh, which was that I needed for the auto sieve. You see there started going up, placed the auto sieve. I think I did on top of it or next to it. So yeah, I started powering it. And so we finally had power. It only took like, I don't even know, a long time. Started working on the base afterwards a little bit, getting an area you know, mind out for just where I wanted to, because I wanted to at least, you know, give something to look good in the base. You know, I didn't want to just constantly be living here without a house. And I tried to make this out of wood and it just did not look good to me at all. I just destroyed everything because it, it was just ugly to me. It was probably ugly y'all to, to y'all as well. So I just made everything out of stone because that that's just the way it needs to be. But as you can see here, I made an auto hammer as well. So I can really start automating this process here for the sieving, everything like that. So I don't have to sit there and just keep mining away, mining away, mining away just to get something to sieve. So yeah, we finally had that done. Cool. And so it was working. I finally got the sieve working 
and everything like that for it. I came over here and I think I made another cobblestone. Yeah, I started working a cobblestone generator. So, you know, I'm trying to make an automatic process here. I'm going to use this to talk about what I was doing in this. So basically the end goal for this was just to beat the weather. So that's what I'm going to do at around day 99, 100. I do fight the weather. So this is what I'm talking about it now. So if you're still watching, awesome. Thank you. So went over here and completed the process of trying to make it, you know, automated with the packager, etc. things like that. And so, you know, the only issue was I, I still need to connect it with power. So I started upgrading cobblestone generators to also make the process faster here. Open this got upgrade speed thing. So it's, which I thought this was going to work with the stuff that I have. So as you can see here, I actually do go over to try it, but yeah, I get hit with grid is overloaded and I never fixed that. So that, that stayed like that. Cause I didn't know what I was doing, but went over here, started making these transfer pipes and everything like that. So I can start putting energy and everything like that from the crucibles, whatever. Cause I was still learning, you know, this power process of what to do. And so this is what I thought best right now made this transfer node here so that I can actually suck stuff out so I can pump it into other things. And this was just a very long process for me to learn overall. Like I, I can't see the days right now, but I'm assuming over time, it took a lot of days to learn how to do this, but I finally had it pumping out, doing everything with the energy and you know, the mesh, I, I had to figure out how to make it all work, but we were finally understanding it. Awesome. Got this little process here with the crucible and the generator. I had so many <laughs> generators at this point. You could probably count them on your like, it'd probably take both of your hands to count them. But started getting these energy pipes and everything because I did make the wrong pipes at first. That was my fault because I didn't know how to do it. But started transferring energy. It did take, you know, a little bit of time to really do it. But we started getting it down. That's what matters, right? It was the process of understanding it. So we'd be able to do it better next time. And so as you can see here, I decided, hey, okay, I'm starting to get it. We'll start placing a chest down here. So, you know, for the auto sieve to go in so that the items had somewhere to go. And so that's what I did. This block next to me, I was so scared because there was lava. I didn't want to break it. So we got this auto sieve set up on another system done. It, it was cool. And then I went over here to once again probably open chance cubes yeah i did i was opening chance cubes and i showed this i got a bag of holding which was incredible so i had so much more room to hold stuff now i needed that so bad i opened up two of those chance cubes next to each other. i'm calling them chance cubes i don't know their actual names i got a i think one of them didn't give me anything because i think it drops a diamond block later but i got another store out of it which I thought it would actually let me use because there was a quest that was like get another star. And I thought I, I completed it because I got this, but no, that's not the case. Yeah. See right here. It gave me a diamond block after, which was awesome. More diamonds for me. I didn't have to sieve it or nothing. So cool. Really just started opening these up just over and over. And okay. So basically to explain what happens here is obviously I get caught in a bunch of cobweb and stuff like that i don't know what it was but the days actually got messed up during this i don't remember what day i was on i think maybe around 40 something like that but it set me back so many days and so i had to figure out how to calculate it and i don't know if i got it right or if i got it wrong afterwards so i just went based off of what i thought i was at during the live stream and while i was playing so uh, so it, it gets fixed later down the line. Either I finished on day 101 or I really did do day 100. But anyways, yeah, th that's what happened. I don't know why it did it, but I had to show off my gear there because, you know, I was looking fine in it, bro, with the amount of stuff that I got. But yeah, I just kept opening chance cubes. It gave me everything here. I got trapped right here. <laughs> this was, I thought I was genuinely going to die from this for some reason, even though I'm too cool to die with all that cool gear that I have on me. But it basically just kept making rooms for me for my house, which was cool. It was sick. So here's the uh, the base. This is now we're, we're skipping a little bit. I started working on the base heavy, as you can see the stone all around and everything like that. It was it was starting to look nice over there, and I made a bunch more chests. It, the base was looking nice, but it was a mess 
at the same time. Like, I'm just a messy person when it comes to anything. But it is what it is. Made an anvil so I can start repairing my armor that I need to do. Especially the very good armor that I had. Because I didn't want to lose it before I fought the wither. Because this is really going to come in handy. Especially because, yeah, it's, it's literally called the divine armor. Where else are you going to get that? It's sick. It's sick. I made this enchanting table here. It was an auto one. And I don't know why I didn't just make a regular one. I think I just wanted something cool looking. So that's what I did. I had no clue how to use it at first. But um, I had to make a XP thing on top of it. Or something like that. But anyways, here as you can see, I started to dehydrate rotten flesh to make leather. So I can start making bookshelves. Which would come in handy later. The uh, Yeah, the dust that I started to beat down with the hammer and whatnot on the oak so it took dude my dumb self was legitimately getting water every time for it. i don't know why i was doing that when you could just place it in a line and get paper so i just kept doing it with water and it wasted so much time but i did finally actually get the right stuff set up and i placed it wrong i was mad that i placed it wrong but it didn't matter i had enough place this in and it still didn't do enough so I did have to build extra, as you can see on top, to actually make it work, and then place that XP thing on top. And so now we're skipping over, so it correlates to the XP thing. Was I need to start getting XP? So I made these iron spikes for them to fall down onto, so that they get hurt and then drop XP at the same time as the items. So that's why I started. Plus, it was part of a uh, quest, so I was like, you know, what? let's just start getting it done. And so that's what I did. And then here I went to enchant something not knowing what I was doing. I actually just clicked around and it just, it gave me like a level one or two enchant on pickaxe, which I mean, it's whatever. But I went to bed here to, you know, I think it was to end off a day or something like that to try to get it back on track after what happened earlier with the days messing up. But it was also just to show off the base. The thing that I built there with the waterfall looks sick. It looks so sick. And then I started working on my gear here as well, upgrading the, the helmet, started preparing for the wither because we, you know, we were starting to get near, you know, hundred days where I'm like, okay, I really got to start, you know, getting this serious to really fight the wither. So built another portal here, started, you know, doing that, which I think, yeah, I actually did go to the nether here after I made it. And it would actually be the first and last time I go to the nether. <laughs> I don't know why I never explored the nether more. Actually, no, I think I did. I think I did come back here. Either that or this was all in one trip. Yeah, I think it was all in one trip. But I started exploring another fortress. And I got this cool thing out of, here, out of it. Where I kept doing... I didn't know how to use it. It wasn't aiming right. As you can see, I missed so many times on this weather skeleton. I was so scared. But then uh, I finally understood after this how to use the weapon and everything like that. It's a cool weapon. I really liked it. But yeah, I basically just looted the nether fortress. I, I was in there for a long time. I, I'm not going to show everything. I, I basically just looted it, as you can see from how much was inventory, and started just dumping this XP so I can start upgrading the gear that I really didn't need to for the weather fight coming up. So yeah. But as usual, instead of preparing what I need to, I open up Chance Cube. I'm a gambler at heart. Okay, I can't gamble. Well, yes, I can. I just turned 20. I think you have to be 21 to gamble with some things, but whatever. My birthday was two, three days ago. And I don't know. But yeah, I just gambled. Gambled now. <laughs> I, I just did that because it's just a me thing to do. Then I started making these generators. Yeah, I started upgrading the cobblestone generator as much as I could. Especially the emerald, it looks so nice. You can't tell me green is not the best color. Green is the best color of all time. I don't care what you say. It looks the best. And then I actually made this the mining dimension. It was cool. As you can see here, skimping around a little bit. Found this chest. All these cool things that were in here. And this is where I decided that I was going to actually fight the weather. I'm going to attack by silverfish right now, but I had thorns. So it's where I decided why I was going to fight the weather. Went back, started doing more chance cubes. No clue. Oh... I remember this now. It spawned so many creepers. I'm surprised I did not die from that. Because <laughs> right next to, I don't know. Which is so dumb, bro. A creeper can do that much damage to you when you have such good gear. But it takes the rest of the mobs forever to kill you. I didn't understand it. But I, I had to sit here and clear my base out of just uh, of creepers. 
it was so it took forever i did not want anything blowing up in my base but it happened anyways and um yeah we lost some of the animals because of it and it was sad i didn't even do get to do anything with the animals but you know my base got blown up anyways <sighs> and it was just it, it, it sucks so bad this is why you should never gamble kids never gamble because bad things will happen so as we were nearing somewhat the end here i guess so i started just looking around my base and decided hey i wanted to do something with it before you know and make actually look really really nice so that's what i did i started working here on this uh glass trying to make an area and i didn't like the way the glass looked the uh, just the design on it in the middle so i was like okay no i'm not doing that i want to get rid of it and so that's what I really started to do, which is work on the base, start to, you know, upgrade gear at the same time and everything like that. Because I believe we were nearing day 90 something. I can't even tell anymore because the days got messed up. But yeah, I, I just worked on here, as you can see, finishing up the base. You know, everything was starting to look nice. And then I went to the mining dimension where I got all this iron to build a beacon. Because this is where I was going to fight the wither. And I'm like, hey, might as well start building a beacon here. Which, okay, I forgot to include that star that I got from the chance cube. I used to make the beacon. That worked. But yeah, I, I, I forgot to include that. That's my bad. Worked on the base here. And, you know, as you can tell, just started working and working and working. Cleared out this big area where the farm was. I had to get rid of it. You know, they were all dead. I might as well. Started making extra stuff tools weapons whatever i could to really fight this weather started building it's a little box and um i don't know what was going through my head i should have known obsidian and cobblestone does not stop the weather i don't know why i was building a box it i don't know i played minecraft for so long i should have known that and yet i just didn't think about it because i was like hey maybe it's java because i didn't play pc minecraft I don't know but as you can see here I started I had a bunch of stuff that I'd gotten from loot bags and chance cubes that I was really getting ready on to go and fight the wither and I was so scared man because we were, I was talking about it with the dude that was in my chat I was like dude watch me die immediately like first try or something like that so I was like nah to make sure that doesn't happen I'm just gonna get a bunch of stuff that I need just all these these mana potions golden apples etc these charms that i had that allowed me you know they gave me fire protection it gave allowed me to fly but here we go place the first two boom place the third and then we fought the weather i i started just taking as much stuff as i could here and then it took everything off i don't know what happened but my game literally glitched out and just took all my gear off and moved everything around so i couldn't hit it with my sword my idea was working i just couldn't reach it and I don't know why I wasn't using my bow at first. It, my IQ just basically went away whenever I was trying to fight him. And I don't know why. I just kept freaking out and just drinking stuff like that. Finally moved in and started hitting him. And then he broke out. So right there I was like, oh man, my idea didn't, didn't work. I'm probably going to die now. And I couldn't get through this block because the, the air charm or whatever. I couldn't control it. So... I, I got stuck and I was just sitting here like withering please go away please go away I finally got up and out and I shot him with my bow and look how much damage the bow did and then I tried shooting him again I was like why isn't it working the bow doesn't work I guess afterwards and I literally just learned that there now I don't know why I did just learn it but I'm trying to get away and I can't because the air charm was messing me up and right there it looked like I died I thought I did die I must have died and it just wouldn't work I don't know why I kept trying it and then you know just pulled out the sword and then i actually did die and i'm so happy it wasn't a hardcore but i mean it, it really should have been but it is my first time okay so i do apologize tried using the bow again i don't know why i tried using the bow again it didn't work but i beat it i beat the wither and i was so happy i finally got the quest done nether star the swords it, oh my god i was so scared i was like oh no if we die again i really don't have anything to fight him with but it felt so good defeating the wither. You know, that was my one goal for this. Because I didn't know what I was getting into. I was like, okay. 100 day, let's just beat the wither. You know, that's the most, the basic thing that we do here. While learning the mod pack itself. And learning mods. 
And so I did. I just opened, you know, these loot bags here as just the final, like, how oh, we did it. I'm still mad the base didn't work, you know, but the beacon helped us a lot. And then here I had full emerald gear and everything. And I got these, uh, these cool, these little outfit things. But yeah, that's going to do it, man. I mean, I hope you guys have enjoyed this 100 days and all. Peace.